Good morning everybody, welcome to the 13th edition of the European Championship. We are here on the last day. And the next game on pitch number one is Austria against Russia. We will play this game for the last three rankings. And it will be between the 13th and the 15th place. And it will go... Start in a few more minutes. And for Russia we have the players with number one, Igor Fedorov. Number two, Vladisla Sko Skomorokov. Number four, Alexander Satona. Number five, Ivan de Belli, number six, six Igor Sandorov, number seven Pavel Volkov, number eight Igor Volodin, and number nine Ivan Gerasimov. And from Austria we got with number one Leonard Lubrich, number two Valentin Stern, number three Martin R Ringelmann, number four Felix Kutasia Lisberg, number five. David Hofmann, number 6 Lars Jakob, number 7 Philip Eberhofer, number 8 Paul Schubel, and number 9 Lorenz Katusha Lisberg, brother of Felix. Players coming on the pitch right now. So the teams are lined up. Got two green flags. Yeah. 
And here we go, but the Austria team was not on the right position to start this game. And that gives the ball to Russia. And there's already the first game for Russia. Ivana Derby at the first goal. Real nice fast goal. I think the Russia will be happy with this. So with only half minute played, Russia's leading with one against Austria zero. Nice shot from the Austria team. Ball stays in position with Austria. Now the shot of Austria, but a nice block from the number two of Russia. Austria is going for the corner. Nice speed up. Nice pass number two, but very nice toggle by number two. And Russia is in ball position, and here goes the fast break with number nine, Ivan Keremivkov. And this is an easy shot on the goal, and a nice second goal for Russia. Very nice fast break of the Russian team. Only one half minute played and already two goals for Russia and zero for Austria. Number six of Austria is searching for some space in the defense. Gets a strong Russian defense line. Nice pass to the center, but an illegal attack from number five of Russia, Ivan Debeli. And he gets a green card for this. Three shots going to be taken by number six of Austria, Lars Jakob. Didn't see any chance or opportunity there for a shot and goal. Nice defense there from Russia. Don't give any space to the Danish team, to the Austrian team. And a nice long distance shot. It was a very, very hard shot. Even the goalkeeper lost his pedal. Flew away about like three, four meters. Another corner for the Danish team. The Austrian team, sorry. There was a nice opportunity on the right side of the attack, but the pass couldn't not make it. Another nice opportunity there on the right side. Balls go there to number three. Three goes over the dribble. Ooh, that was a little bit dangerous there from the number two. Yeah, there was a fall a few seconds before by the Russian and a melee shot by number two of Austria. Russian team need to be careful because the referee already saw a few falls. Another fast break, break from Austria. Ball goes to the left. Balls go back to number seven. But a nice pedal block by number four of Austria. Nice battle up there in the defense line. Good defense of Austria up there to prevent the fast break. Here comes number four. And a pass back. A little bit more patience now at the Russian side. They're trying to organize again for the, for the first Attacking wave. Archer are, are a little bit giving a lot of space there in defense. Nice pass through the center by number seven. And uh, no, no goal. That was not lucky at all for the Russian guys. Archer Austria is not really tight in the defense line. Give a lot of space and opportunity for the Russian. And results that the pass to the middle center player from Russia was really easy here goes Austria with number seven pass to number four there's a nice screening on the right side but 
A selfish shot of the number four of Austria. Nice fast break. What a nice pass on number six, five. And that's a nice shot. He was doing like he was not shooting at all, but then he made the shot. Very nice shot of the number five. He kept it all cool. Did a fake shot. Keeper missed it completely. With five and a half minutes to play in the first half, it's three for Russia and zero for Austria. Austria needs to be more careful with their shots on the goal because they're not really good opportunities. This is a nice pass over the head of the number eight of Russia. And a nice shot. Number one of Austria, Leonard Lubrich. Really nice pass over the head of the defender from Russia. And the moment was nice there under the goal. Easy shot for him. And the Russian is going there again. And the Austrians are defending really wide. I don't think that's a clever idea against those Russians. Because they go through it with a lot of speed. You can see here, nice pass to the center because there's no defender up there. And again, of course, a goal by number one, Igor Fedorov. The defense line of Austria is just too wide open. Too easy for the Russian to go with speed. And then the center is, is completely free. Austria need to be defend more tight to stop this attacks. He goes the ball to Austria, number three, but... Oh, it was a nice block, but number three took it well, and what a shot! He was with his back to the goal, turned a little bit, and a nice shot on the goal. What a nice kill of the Austria guy, number three. Martin Ringelmann. This is not everybody can do. So Austria is fighting back a little bit. I hope they can get their defense line a little bit more tight because they can no again they are really wide open. Here you go. If the Russian pass well, they come through another nice nice pass to the center again. And on the left side it's wide open. But now in the center there's also space. And there was an obstruction fall made by the Russian team. Ah, referee gives a green card, but there was a fast break able for Austria. That is not the best decision the referee could do. Because now it prevents Austria from making a fast break goal. Austria is taking it a li little bit slow, waiting for number two to get in a good position. Number two, the center. Russia started with a 1-2-2 two, two defense. But all the players of Russia are with their back to the attacking side of Austria. Nice shot of number seven. But no surprise at all for the number four of Russia, the goalkeeper Felix Katusha Lisberg. Now the corner for the Austria team. If you can make the pass later on to number one. Number one goes by the dribble there. Try to get the whole defense line out to that side of the attack. And here comes number three. The number three of Austria was waiting on his teammates to come in with speed. But they were still waiting there. They, I think they thought he was making the shot himself. Uh, this is not a nice push of the number two. This was not allowed at all. With 10 seconds on the shot clock, this is not looking nice for Austria. Here comes the Russian number 9. Look at the speed he has. And on the, on the goals, number 2. Nice pass. And this is an easy call. It looked easy, but the speed of the Russian make it look easy. I, th I think the referee just missed a fall made by the Russian. By pushing on the elbow of the Austria guy. With only 10 seconds on the shot clock. And the Russia, of course, take advantage of it. And make the score 5 
for Russia and two for Austria. So with two minutes on the clock, Austria is looking for some gaps in the defense line, the strong defense line of the Russian team. Again playing 1-2-2 two, two in defense. And there's a nice opportunity there for eight. Pass to number two. And here comes the shot. And a goal, of course. What a nice attack from Austria. You could see it coming like 10 seconds before. Nice tactics. They all stick to the plan. They know exactly what to do. And with it, Russian defense or one to two, it was just wide open on that side. Very nice guy of Austria. Brings the score back with only two goal difference. Five for Russia, two for Austria. One half minute remaining on the clock. Here comes the Russian team again. Missed the ball. But the Russians are a little bit more aggressive to keep the ball position. 30 seconds left on the shot clock. One minute, 10 on the normal clock until the end of the first half. And there comes another shot and a nice shot off again. Number two, Vladis. Sorry. Vladislav Skomorokov. The Archian team really needs to think of something different now in defense line because they just give too much space. With one minute left in the first half, it's six goals scored for Russia and three for Austria. That means that almost every minute a goal is scored. Nice pass to the number eight. But the defense line was organized well, so that was not good opportunity. Archer team keeps attacking, but not too much risk. With 30 seconds on the shot clock. Nice little pass to the number two and a nice shot. It's a pretty fast shot. The goalkeeper was paying attention to it. 56 on the clock and the Russian team goes now with a full pressure on the ball. A nice pass to number four. Oh, and he strikes it with his pedal. That was genius. If this was a goal, it was the mo most beautiful goal of the tournament, I think. Five seconds left. Ball goes to number one, long distance shot. And it just missed. And this is the end of the first half. A lot of goals scored. Six for Russia, three for Austria. And within this moment of break, I would like to thank the Coimbra City Council, the University of Coimbra, the club Fluvial de Coimbra, who hosts this fantastic tournament. And we got Jupin Sports, provided all the goals on all the pitches, also known as CPS. And we also got the Portuguese Institute for Sports and Youth. And of course, Yoko Santa Casa. Today on Sunday is the last day of this tournament. So all the men's senior and women's senior are playing for a final ranking. Within an hour the semi-finals will be there for the men's teams.
With only 30 seconds left on the first break, the only break, the teams are lining up. Coaches uh, did some tactic words against the teams. I hope the coach of the Archer team told their team to put a little bit more tight in defense because they just gave too much space away to the Russian team. So here we go. The Archer team is good on line, as well as the Russian team. And here goes the sprint. I think it will be an easy one for Russia. And it is. The Russian team is just so fast. They train really hard in the winter. A lot of power lifting, a lot of speed training. And that all results in the speed they have now. Ah, there was a nice piece of defense there by the Austria team they saw the pass coming but again also this Russian guy was paying a lot of attention to stop the fast break but it's now two for Austria against one against Russia nice long shot and he scored nice nice fast break by Austria goal by number two Valentin Stern Valentin Stern only 20 years old this is a good start for the Austria team The Russian are now attacking again. And another sloppy shot. A lot of pressure there from the Russian team. Arsia passed the ball nice out. If the Russian keep doing this, it will be a little bit difficult for them to keep the score up. It's, it's now on only two goal difference. If Arsia make now a goal, it's only one goal difference. Astra is passing the ball around. Of course, they play. Uh, they have some rules for the tactics. They're now waiting for number two. He's now screening. Want to go to the center. Two of the Russian teams are now looking to the center, number two. And here comes number four now. He can make the shot, but he does not dare. Don't risk too much now. Already in the game with only uh, eight and a half minutes left. 20 seconds remaining on the shot clock. Archer will go for their second attacking wave. A lot of speed there by number one. Is he going for the shot? No. Another pass. Archer needs to pay attention now because it's only seven seconds left on the shot clock. Ball goes to number four. Long distance shot over there. Ooh, that was close. Nice save by the goalkeeper of Russia. that made it almost to 6-5. to five. The Russian goalkeeper needs to stretch himself out completely to stop this from making having a goal against. Here comes the Arsha team. Arsha team looks more confident now with passing and nice shot. But again, also a nice defense of the Russia team. Arsha team looks way better than the first half. They get a little bit more confidence now in their passing and their shooting. Let's see if they can make a goal out of this fast attack. Ooh, pass was a little bit too far back. And immediately pressure on the ball by the Russian defending team. And there was an obstruction of number two. From Austria, what gives the ball easy to Russia. Still number... Oh, I missed that completely, but Russia was already there on the goal. That guy number two from Russia, he's so fast. Vladis Komarkov, he was already on the goal. Austria team didn't even saw him coming. Easy goal from Russia. A little bit of sloppy to lose the ball there from Austria. Would make the score seven for Russia and four for Austria. Yeah, 
Here goes Usher again with a nice attack. Nice balls go to number four. There's a lot of space there on the right side. And a nice save by goalkeeper. Number two is putting full pressure. Oh, if he put his hand a little bit earlier, I think he would have the ball. For Ashra, this is the first... No, this is the second competition they did so far. They ended up 15th last, year, last European Championship. So they're not real experience. A lot of passing again, true for the Russian. The referee think there was a pedal fall, but I didn't see the pedal at all. I think the Russian player just lost the ball. I don't know if we can see this in replay. Referees are deciding now what to do. Let's see if we can have a replay of this. The referees decided something. Here goes the replay. We can see it ourselves. No, there was nothing there. This is just... If we had to far by this, nothing happened. The ball just slipped out of his hands. This is not lucky at all for the Austria players. They now have a yellow card for two minutes. So they play with four people for two minutes. There need to be four people on the pitch. It's not allowed to have them substitute. Because if it's a if it's a rebound, then someone of the substitution can take the ball more easy. Here comes the penalty and a clean shot of number nine from Russia, Ivan Kermisov. See the replay again. Nice hard shot. Russia team needs to be on their own side of the half before continue the game. Russian team is going for the full pressure on the ball. Four out with a the goalkeeper. They're just there. Full pressure. The Russian team are putting a lot of pressure there. Go to the back line of the Austria. But Austria just gave the pass to the middle center of the field to give them a little bit more space. Number seven is free up there. Nice battle there for the ball. Pass needs to be faster because otherwise you will lose the ball. Pass goes to number six. No, sorry, to number four. Almost lost the ball. Russian team is really good with their boat. Their boat skills are pretty good there. Uh, a lot of pressure. And here goes number six with the ball. Now we got a nice opportunity up there. Seven seconds on the shot clock. Only five. The shot needs to be made now. This was a shot and a reset, but ball position for Russia. And again, a nice fast break there. Ball's almost out of the line. Nice pass to the center. And this was a tricky shot. He saw the goalkeeper was not under his goal. And just a high shot, really slow shot, but just enough to get a goal. And again, the Russian team is putting full pressure on the ball. And this is an easy how they took that ball. And again, number five of Russia is there very fast. Almost on the back line. 
but he just made this goal. It looks all really easy, but this Russian team is just way, way better than Austria. They are way faster, they are way smarter. But also, they are way more experienced than the Austria team. This is only their second time in the European Championship. So this is what this is very good experience for them. And again, the Russian pushed the ball all the way to the defense line of Austria. And here it's a corner already. What a strength up there. Hmm? The flag one was giving it a corner, but what is the referee doing there? Yeah, the referee does not like how the co coaches are behaving, getting a red card there. He needs to, he needs to go off the pitch. The Austria coach was not really nice to the referee. And of course that's not allowed, so he is sent away. He was shouting to the referee because he thought it was not a corner, but a ball for the Austria team. Get a little bit frustrated by that. The referee took the right goal, the right call, to give him a red card. But he's still standing here by the fence. And here goes Arshia with the fast break. Now the Russian guy is just too powerful there. Put his boat under the boat of the Austrian guy. Austria is back with five again. And here comes a nice shot for number seven. No, not a pass. They just want to have some beautiful goals up there. Make it a little bit too difficult now. They're only passing and passing and they could have done the shot like four or five times before. And this is easy defense, of course, for number four. Here goes the Austrian team. Number two is going for the long shot. Now he's just waiting, pass to number three. He wants to do the shot, but he just missed. A little bit too much pressure. Three and a half minutes of playing time. Already 10 goals scored by Russian and only four by Austria. So I think this game is already decided. Russia team takes it easy. Referee saw some obstruction somewhere. Gives an opportunity for Austria again. No goalkeeper on the goal yet. He's now for the free shot and there he goes. And he just missed it by inches. He hits the bar. But good call from the Austria team to make this long shot. There was no goalkeeper yet and he had all the space in the world to make a nice shot. So Russia and Austria are playing for 13th, 14th and 15th place. And so they are in a group with three together with Finland. And Russia are making now some good scores. Wow, what a nice hard shot from number five of Russia. Ivan Dibeli. Look at the replay, how fast it went. What a fast hard shot that was. Two minutes left on this game. Austria is looking for some opportunities here. Here goes the, the wave attack on the right side. There's some space. Nice pass and shot. But easy block by the pedal, by the defense line. Goalkeeper didn't have to do anything about it. One half minute remaining.
Our Austria team is trying to make some more goals. Last minute of the game. Austria is in ball position. They really want to make another goal. Nice passing to the middle and another shot, but this is just not a good opportunity to make a goal. Ball for the Russian team. Austria is falling back in their normal defense line, 1-3-1. One, one. Fifty more seconds left in this game. 11 goals scored by Russia and 4 by Austria. Here comes number 8. Goes to the dribble, but passes back. I think the Russian team are just waiting for the 35 seconds or if they see a really good opportunity to make a shot. But they don't have anything to fear again with 11 against 4. Here goes the Russian team, little push by his teammate. And a nice goal by number 6 of Russia. Igor Sandarov. I think the Archer team did not suspect that he was going to shoot. He did a nice look on his back that he was trying to make the pass back to his teammate and then he made the shot. Really surprised. Last 50 seconds on, the, on this game. Russia are putting a lot of pressure on the ball. They want to make another goal. And here he goes, almost off the line. Can he make it in? It's still in. No. Ruffy saw it was on the line. And with only one. No, Ruffy decides as this game is over. So thank you all for watching. Russia 12 goals, Austria 4. The next game will be within a few more minutes. The semi-finals of Great Britain against Poland in the man division.